So I'm in Roblox now, and if I click Control Shift F5 to see my FPS, you can see it is locked to 60 FPS no matter what I do. Um, it won't go any higher than that. So let's get that fixed. Conventionally, people have used Roblox Client Optimizer, but there is now a better option, and that is Blockstrap, which is far more customizable and has more features. To download, on their GitHub page, just click the Download at Latest tab, and it'll bring you to a new page, then just download the executable file. Make sure you're getting the latest one for the newest version. Navigate to your downloads and run the file. It'll open the install screen and let you configure your options. I'll go through what I prefer. Leave activity tracking on. Disabling this can cause issues with Roblox apparently, so I just stick with their advice. I'll turn on C super location because it's cool to know. I turn off show game activity. I don't need people on Discord to see what I'm playing all the time. Then enable allow multi-instance launching as this will let you have more than one Roblox tab open if you launch the game from another account. Now in mods, I'll turn on old death sound because it's way too iconic to bring the oof back. And I'll also use the 2006 cartoony mouse as it gives Roblox a better vibe. I leave old avatar editor off, but I'll turn the old character sounds on and disable the desktop app because personally it's something I hate. Everything else here, I'm gonna leave default. In fast lags, this is where we edit our FPS. Now, I have a 144Hz monitor, but I prefer to run the game at a slightly higher limit, so I'll change it to a 165fps cap. Scrolling down, enable the ability to hide GUIs. For now, read the tutorial page about it, but maybe in the future I'll make a tutorial on just this. I'll use the old material texture because it's objectively better, and no one's gonna change my mind on that. Moving down, I'll also preserve rendering quality and use the alternate graphics selector as it allows for more fine-grained control in-game. In style, I'll just change the icon to my personal favorite. Behavior, this looks like it's good by default. Installation, that's also good. It's time to hit install. This part just says you can find Blockstrap by searching for it in your start menu and edit these settings later on if you wish. Now, we're ready to click install. Okay, so let's join speedrun now. You can see there's a new launching menu as opposed to the original Roblox one. We got block strap right there. And we're in the game. Now, if I click Control Shift F5, you're gonna see the FPS menu pop up. And there we go, it is running at 160. You see it maxing out that the number we set. If I start running, you'll just see it continue. And we have 160 FPS, it's been unlocked. We're getting more than double. So there you go. So this is Blockstrap. It's quite a great utility for Roblox. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you have fun playing with that smooth buttery FPS now. I hope you all have a good one and looks like I died. This is Aptosis, signing off. Just real quickly, go to Appearance, Theme, Dark, Save. And that's how you make it look good.